we have two products. And what we're talking about is what's called a non-deliverable forward. And I don't want to get too deep into this, but okay. it looks a lot like a futures product. The only difference is it's not traded on an exchange. It's traded what's called OTC. So it's over the counter. And so those contracts are completely customizable is kind of the, the big difference between a futures product and a, an OTC forward. Um, right. So there's no physical hash rate that's being exchanged here. This is all a synthetic representation of hash rate. And so what that allows miners to do is continue mining their normal operation, uh, hedge out their, their revenue risk or their price risk, and uh, you know, know for sure that they've locked in $80 per petahash per day. Um, we also see from the buy side, people that are interested in buying hash rate or synthetic hash rate. Um, okay. And so they can get exposure to Bitcoin mining without actually physically deploying Bitcoin miners. So like we said, it's, it can be a huge headache and it, it takes a lot of time and energy to actually deploy physical infrastructure to mine Bitcoin. And so this is a way for them to, to synthetically get exposure to the upside. If they think, hey, I think there's a, a couple big ordinals projects dropping in the next month or so, transaction fees are going to go crazy. I want to buy some hash rate and, and that may be profitable for them to do so instead of physically deploying miners. Right. And the exchange at the end of the day is um, you give me Bitcoin and I'll give you the cash equivalent of that Bitcoin. Yeah. So so it's kind of like um, so it's it's all cash settled. And so it's kind of like if I were the buyer of this transaction um, and I paid uh, $70 per petahash. Every single day, we settle that on a daily basis. And so if the daily settlement of that hash price value was 80 on the first day, that means that I made the difference between 80 and 70. It's like I was mining at a cost of $70 per petahash. So right. I made $10 difference, $10 of profit times whatever size of the contract that I executed. So if I did uh, 15 petahash, I did multiply 15 petahash times a $10 profit. And we do that every day for the month of the contract that you traded. So for example, for February, for all 29 days. Right, right. That, that so, makes sense. Um, yeah, so it's completely a synthetic representation. But I think importantly as well, we have a second product that's maybe a little bit more to what you were referring to. It's called a deliverable board. And so okay. that is where the actual physical hash rate is delivered to Luxor's pool. And somebody purchases that hash rate at a discount. They say, hey, here's 10 Bitcoin for, I don't know what the number is, 100 petahash for the next 30 days. And so the seller, the miner of that contract, gets to collect that Bitcoin on day one of that contract instead right. of waiting to have to mine every single day for the month of February. And so they are willing to sell their hash rate at a discount in exchange for receiving that Bitcoin on day one, because that means instead of having to wait to get the rewards, they can every single uh, they can go deploy that Bitcoin to go buy more ASICs. They can buy containers. They can buy more infrastructure in order to expand their operation. And it's a way for them to get access to capital at the start of the contract instead of having to wait all that time to mine that Bitcoin. Right, right. Yeah, and, and that makes sense. That I feel like it, may, it makes it fair. You get a little bit, a little bit less, I'm guessing, than you normally yep. would by mining yourself. Yep. Uh, but you get the lump sum, you don't get, you know, a daily rate.